My ZBZ is very bad, so if I play and lose, don't laugh at me. Okay, anyways, I'm not gonna buy everyone from chat. It'll lag the game. A lot of people will, be, will fucking complain about that, that are playing. They'll be like, what the fuck, I'm lagging. I'll put these replays in the subscriber replay pack, so if people want that as well. But you guys are gonna see it on the stream, and I don't I don't make you subscribe to watch my VODs, so you can always rewatch this if you're interested. But anyways, I'm gonna fucking coach both these kids. I would recommend, if you guys are both listening to the stream as well right now, Bam Bam and Cyclone, mute it for now. And then go back, like, so you can make it, I actually play a real game against each other. Don't just do what I say. But then, you know, if you, if you, I can't stop you from meeting the stream, but I would recommend you do that to make it actual, a real game. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, you guys can watch it later. And I'm gonna fucking coach this shit, man. Let's turn music on, but really softly. So we can have some backbeat to this. Alright, boys. So this is coaching 101 right here. We got some double gas trick going on from Steel Cyclone, and also a double gas trick coming out of Bam Bam. I don't give a shit about that. I used to, I used to do that myself. I don't really do that anymore. I do one gas trick. I don't think it matters. The trade-off is if you do double gas trick, you actually lose a little bit more mining time sending two drones out to do double gas. But then you get another drone faster in an egg. You get your 16th drone a little bit faster. Uh, they both went for 16 hatchery. I don't like that. I don't prefer that. I like I like 17 better. But they didn't larva cap though. They all like they were like this fucking close to larva capping. So it's not actually like that bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. I will say it's not, if as long as there's no larva capping going on, it's not bad. I don't personally prefer it. I prefer 17. But whatever. Now we got a uh I'm gonna do this too. We got a fucking this is like a seven or a sixteen pool coming out of Cyclone on the red guy. And we got like a seventeen seventeen coming out of Bam Bam. Gas before no, this is pool before gas, what are we talking about? That gas is too late. Both builds are kinda standard. This is, it looks like we're actually gonna see gasless versus uh, non gas. I mean I Jesus Christ. It's been so long since I've coached. It's going bad. <laughs> We're gonna see a gasless versus a gas. I don't. I was already right now, I give the advantage to Bam Bam. I fucking hate gasless. But we'll see how uh, Steel Cyclone wants to make it work. He's already making a blind spine crawler. That's one reason why I don't like gasless. You're already sacrificing some of your economy because of the possibility you're gonna get attacked. I hate that. But Bam Bam, there. Okay, there's his things. He needs to. He needs to scout this and react. While meanwhile, like if if I were Bam Bam, what I would do the second I saw, oh, I'm versing a gasless, I would immediately take a third and I would fully saturate three bases. And if I was uh, Steel Cyclone in this situation, I would try to quickly saturate two bases and then go for like a Roach timing or go straight into Mita. But I don't prefer Steel Cyclone's way of doing this. So he's scouting, he, sh he sees no gas, and now he sees a spine crawler. Immediately, if I was Bam Bam, take a fucking third. Take a third base. He's already going into layer though. So it looks like he wants to go for two base Muta. I don't like that. Two base Muta is actually not that great against two base gasless. But he is at least taking a third, that's good. There's no way that Steel Cyclone's gonna punish this third. So taking a third is like fucking required. Uh, but if it, like basically if Bam Bam up here, the blue guy, if he goes for a quick spire now, if Seal Cyclone spreads his creep like he is and he puts spore crawlers around the base, he will not do any damage to the third base. Like right now, what I want him to fucking do is I want, I, I wish Bam Bam had made like, instead of taking all these fucking gas, only rely on one gas right now. And he could have had, uh, you know, like 20 zerglings. Just make like 20 fucking lings. And go kill this third. You saw he's gasless, and he can't. And if he tries to take a third, you fucking deny that shit. And then, uh, you fully saturate all three of your bases and take your gases later. I feel like the tech is a little bit rushed. But, but if, on the, the other side of things, if this is a roach gasless build, 
then uh, then Bam Bam will be fine. Because it'll be Roaches versus Mita. Three base versus three base, and it's fine. Because he's going to have really... Like, like, he's actually going for melee melee Carapace. I I like this. I, li I actually now like how uh, Steel Cyclone is reacting in this game more than Bam Bam. I, I still give the lead to Bam Bam right now, but I like hit, I like Steel Cyclone's reaction a lot more than Bam Bam's to what they both saw. Because the way he, the way Steel Cyclone's reacting to, oh, you got a third now and you might be going Mita, I'm going to go for one one Lings and try to just kill fucking economy, whereas Bam Bam is going to just rush Mita's out, and he's delaying his own economy when he, he... He actually delayed his own economy a little bit by rushing gases so quickly. Like, he should have been fully saturated about, uh, seriously, like a minute ago. And he's not fully saturated even right now. Because he's rushing Mita's. And he doesn't need to rush Mita. Like, what is he rushing for? If if there were smart crawlers, the Mita's would do fucking nothing. But if, the, if, there are, if there are not any smart crawlers built, the Mita's will actually do something. We need to see a Steel Cyclone's reaction right now. He fucking needs smart crawlers, like, right now. Or he's actually fucked. Okay, he's making spores. But look at the income tab. They're almost tied. That should not be what is happening. And look at the the ground army now. Like, these Mitas are going to have to turn around and go home. There is no actual defense at home right now for these Lings. And these Lings are going to be 1-1 very soon. So the Mitas are going to do seriously nothing. Like, rushing Mitas did nothing. I don't like this reaction at all. And now look at the look at the fucking Zergling counter. What's here to defend it? Nothing. There's drones are being evacuated. There's another way. Uh, th like, I just I don't like how the meta choice because now Bam Bam's actually behind. The third will die. These lings are now one one. And now what's uh, Seal Cyclone gonna do to react? Beyond this point. I would love right now for... Okay, he's going Infestors. Uh, I would love right now for... Uh, Seal Cyclone to fully saturate his base. He has plenty of Lings. And he can force counterattacks like this right now. He needs to... They both... They're both kind of struggling to fully saturate. It's really bad for both of them. Like... At this point right now, with what's happened in this game at this point, Steel Cyclone should now also be fully saturated, but he's not. He's close, but he's missing 3 here, he's missing 2 there, and he's missing about 12 here, because he has gases missing as well. I do like the Infestor choice though. I would also prefer, if I was in his position, to go Infestor. Because then you can also go into Hive, you can get ready to go to 3-3 Ultra, and if you catch the Mutas in one fucking Fungal, you win. And yeah, this is a uh, this is this is Master League, and I'm not I'm not casting a game right now, guys. I'm coaching a game. They can't fucking hear me right now, but it's basically for all the viewers. And then these guys that are playing can go back and watch the vod later, and listen to how I critique it, if they're uh, if you know if they want to do that. What I what I would prefer, honestly, what I would personally prefer uh, Bam Bam to do right now, is not be aggressive with his mutas really anymore and if he is he needs to spread out like a ling everywhere so he doesn't get he doesn't get surprised by a fucking counter attack either that or he needs to leave like baneling zergling back at home but what i would love for him to do is i would actually love for him to also go hive himself and go into broodlord because if he just remains on muta and if the if these mutas get caught in one fungal he's fucking dead i don't i like it's risky he's playing risky as shit right now these lings are gonna fucking wreck. Okay, the bane lings are there. That's good. That's good zoning. But he honestly needs he needs to realize. Okay, my opponent is only going fucking zergling, and he has a lot of economy. What's he gonna do? He's probably gonna go fucking ultras. And if he goes ultras, I honestly think broodlords beat ultras when you're defensive. Especially if you have this many muta on top of that to cover him, you could have broodlords just kind of like. Fucking the Ultras pathing up over and over with Broodling. Meanwhile, the Mutas can focus fire down Ultras at that point. Your Broodlords can zone out Queen and Infester. If he... If he... Oh, that was close. If he only goes fucking... 
Mira, he's gonna be in a serious problem. Also, this is a waste. That was the biggest waste of fungals. Like, he should have realized with how he caught so little. I, If you're ever using an investor against Mita and you catch a little tiny chunk, you should not feel like you're forced to commit to fungling it again and again. Just accept the one, the one fungal that failed and just fucking back up. Because what just happened is he failed anyways. No Mita's actually died. He burned all of his fucking energy and he lost three out of his five investors. It's not good. Now he has ultras on the way. That's very, that is... When these ultras pop out, they're going to counterattack across the map, and these Mitas are going to have a hard time dealing with them. The one thing I do like that Bam Bam is doing, even though he's not going Broodlord, which is what I want him to do, but the one thing I do like is that he, he realizes, okay, I'm going against Zergling, and he's upgrading Mutalisk Attack. That's actually fucking important. If you don't upgrade Mutalisk Attack, Ultras will run your base over really fucking hard. Also, uh, another thing that Bam Bam did that I actually like is he got a level 1 melee upgrade, which means Banelings once again one-shot Zerglings, no matter how many- no matter how many Carapace upgrades a Zergling has, if a Baneling has at least level 1 weapon, it will always one-shot a Zergling, because it gives plus 4 weapon damage to a light unit, whereas Carapace gives 1, 2, 3. <coughs> but anyways, these Ultras, they're fucking scary. If you were to push across the map right now, he would probably lose two ultras by the time he got across the map. This creeps the further out the creep spread gets, the the less ultras he would lose in the process. But I feel like he, if he pushed out with these ultras right now, Bam Bam would lose his fourth and his third guaranteed. I don't think he'd lose his main or his natural, but he would lose the fourth and third. And he's going fucking lurker. I don't like that. Lurkers are countered so fucking easy by Viper, and Mutas are countered so fucking easy by Viper. He's putting himself in a position where he's going to get countered. His whole tech path is going to get countered by one fucking unit, and it's the Viper. Blinding Cloud counters Lurker pretty fucking hard, because then Ultras don't get shot at all until they're already on the Lurker, and at that point, they act like Immortals, basically. Lurkers just fucking disappear. And then if there's any, you know, if the Lurkers aren't really a problem, one Fungal and, like, three fucking Parasitic Bombs and all these Mutas are dead. So here comes the attack. I feel like the 4th and the, f the 3rd base are both dead. The Ultras will tank so much damage. He really needs to kill this base as well. Like right now, if he had Broodlord, if he would have realized, oh I'm playing against fucking Ultra, and let's say he had like 8 Broodlord over here, with Muta just like this, but he has 8 fucking Broodlord. These Broodlord could actually focus fire down the Ultra, while the Muta could clean up all the fucking Zergling. And then as soon as the Zerglings are cleaned up, because Zerglings do really- they die really fast in Muta. As soon as all the Zerglings are cleaned up, then the Mutas come back and help finish off the Ultra. And Ultra- and uh, uh, Broodlords hit Ultras pretty fucking hard. Broodlords hit for like 24 damage. So like 3 volleys of 10 Broodlords and an Ultra fucking dies. But there goes the 4th and the 3rd like we talked about earlier. If you don't have Broodlords, that shit will happen. Also, Steel Cyclone killed the fucking Spire, so Bam Bam is kind of screwed right now. He, I don't really know how he's going to win at this point. He's relying... like every This whole game is on the back of these Mutas. Also, the, Derp and Dal, thank you for the sub, man. Uh, if these Mutas get caught by, again, any fucking Vipers or Investors, he's dead. But if Steel Cyclone engages like shit, he can throw the game. Because he doesn't actually have Viper yet. So far, not bad. He lost like 2 Infester, but he killed off like 8 Mita. And there's really not any economy going on for Bam Bam right now to deal with this. If I were Bam Bam right fucking now, I would be remaking a Spire and going into a Greater Spire. He already has the fucking Hive. He needs Broodlords. Lurkers are not going to do anything. Like, Lurkers are fucking amazing against Zergling, but they are so shit against Ultralisk. Now, the base is gonna die. All the economy is going away. If, if I were... If I'm Bam Bam right now, I gotta clean up all these Ultras as fast as possible before everything dies. And again, I prefer... I would prefer going into Broodlord myself. 
if I'm Steel Cyclone, I keep pressuring with Zerglings, and all my gas that I have right now, I make like seven fucking Viper, or eight Viper. I just make a lot of Viper. He, If he just makes Viper, he's gonna win this game so fucking easy. He already has a Hive. But he's, he's pretty much already won with the ground units anyways. And, they, the, and again, the final... The final reason why I say Lurkers are bad against Ultra, because some people will argue that they're not. If you don't have Viper, Lurkers will cleave the shit out of your Ultras a lot, and the, they will do actually a lot of damage. They do fucking 30 damage to Armored. Uh, and they get plus 3 per upgrade, so they can do up to 39 damage to Armored. But if you just have, again, Viper, and you Blinding Cloud all the Lurker, they don't shoot anything, and they're, they have to be burrowed. They're like Siege Tanks. They have to be stationary to attack. And Ultras... When, the, when Lurkers are burrowed, Ultras will just run on top of them and cleave all of them out in no time at all. And the Lurkers will do fucking nothing. Which is why I think they're bad as a counter. But yeah, the game was pretty... Like, the economy kind of, like, told the situation of that game. I feel like the beginning of that game going on, both players could have... The, the first one to, cho to choose what to do was Bam Bam. He rushed Mutas. The Mutas didn't do anything other than have to turn around and deal with a counterattack. I was saying before he went Mutas, I don't like that. I think he should have fully saturated and then gone Muta off of a good economy rather than f forcing Mutas off of a poor economy. Because <coughs> he wasn't fully saturated on his bases. He was like 14 drones in the main. He was like 8 drones in the natural and there was no drones in the third. And he had 4 gases going all at once and then he's trying to fill in the economy after that. Whereas, what I would prefer him to do would be fully saturate all three fucking bases and then continue to make drones. And as he's already got 16, 16, 16, then take all five gases at once that you don't have currently and then go into Mita from there. Because, as we saw, the, the rushed Mitas did shit anyways. They did fucking nothing. He rushed out like six Mitas to, to honestly fly across the map and then fly home to try and defend Zergling. And then on Steel Cyclone's end, he made a lot of Zerglings. He did some damage with Zerglings, but he also lacked on saturating his base fully as well. He was missing probably like 10 drones, I would say, between all three bases, or like 12 drones for a while on the Mineral Lines. There was like three missing on the main, there was like four missing on the third, and there was like three missing on the on the natural, and then there was no gases at his third. He did a good job, a good strategy choice, in my opinion, if he's going to go gasless against Vito like that. I feel like he read it well. But he didn't saturate as fast as he could have either. Because if he saturates even faster, he can get up to fucking, you know, more ultras faster. He can get to hide faster. He can take a fifth base faster. He can have vipers faster. He can have investors faster. Like, more of them. So, both players played alright. But there's definitely things that both players can improve on. I would say. <coughs> and yeah, uh, Bam Bam... 